Hello all, welcome back. So today I'm back with another important video. So in this video I'll be discussing the multiple choice question and a two mark question which were most of the times repeated by CBSC in their board examinations. So let's get started. Today we'll start by exploring the cellular respiration process. The breakdown, a pile weight takes place in one specific cellular compartment. Can you guess where? Yes, it happens in the mitochondria. The correct answer for question number one is option C, mitochondria. Let's go to the second question. Let's delve into how various organisms obtain and process nutrients. Some observe nutrients after breaking down food outside their bodies. Can you identify the group of organisms that follow this strategy? Yes, it's option B, including yeast, mushroom, and mold. <laughs> Autotrophs play a crucial role in ecosystems. They use sunlight and chlorophyll to convert carbon dioxide and water into carbohydrates. Which statement about autotrophs is incorrect? Take a moment to consider your answer. <laughs> yes, the correct answer for question number three is Option C, as autotrophs require sunlight for this process. Now let's shift our focus to plants. The opening and closing of somatic pores are critical for their survival. What fracture influences this process? It's related to the water content in guard cells. Yes, the correct answer for op question number four is option C. Moving on to the human body, let's trace the path of urine. Can you recall the correct sequence from the kidney to the urinary bladder and beyond? Yes, the correct answer is option C. Where urine travels from the kidney to the ureter, then the urinary bladder and finally the urethra. Before we proceed, let's ensure we understand how plants synthesize carbohydrates. Breathing is an involuntary process and the diaphragm plays a crucial role. What happens to the diaphragm during normal expiration? Take a guess. Yes, the correct answer for question number is option B, which is flattened. Question number six is a question that you all have to think on an individual. So, I request you all to guess the answer for question number 6 and post your answers in the comment section. Now, let's go continue with question number 8. Now, let's explore how plants transport food. It is similar to water transport through xylem. Think about the direction and mechanism. Yes, the correct answer for question number 8 is option A, where food is being transported along the water in the plant's body. Shifting to the circulatory system, can you recall the correct pathway of blood circulation in the human body? Consider the flow from atria to ventricles through arteries and veins. The correct sequence is found in which option of question number 9? Yes, the correct answer for question number 9 is option E. Enzymes in our saliva play a role in breaking down specific nutrients without salivary amylase, which event in the mouth cavity would be affected. I reflect on the digestive process to find the answer. So, I request you all to even post the answer for question number 10. Uh, so, I request you all to think for the answer on your own. So, let's take a moment to discuss the energy currency cells of cells. What is the full form of ATP? Think about the molecule responsible for storing and releasing energy in our cells. So, what is the correct answer for question number 11? Yes, it's option A, adenosine triphosphate.
So let's go to the next slide. So I have a question for you all. Do we know the reason behind the red color of blood? Yes. So there's a chemical present in blood which is known as hemoglobin. So hemoglobin is responsible for red color in blood like how the chemical that is responsible for green color of leaf which is chloroplasm. So there's a range of strategies by which the organisms take in and use the food in heterotropic nutrients. Rishi experienced muscle cramps during the training session for upcoming football match. So, vigorous exercises can sometimes lead to muscle pains. Do you know the substance responsible for these cramps? Yes. So, during vigorous exercises, an acetic acid, sorry, acetic acid, during vigorous exercises, lactic acid is produced in our muscles which causes these cramps. So, so that's all for today's uh, video. I hope you all liked uh, the video. So, I request you all. If you liked my video, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. If you have any query regarding today's questions, and please don't forget to post your answers for question number 6 and question number 10. These two questions answers, you have to think them on your own. And you can post the answers for these two questions in the comment section. So please take this as a homework for you all guys. Thank you.